Okay, hello everyone. My name's Tony Scaponi, and this is Traditional Ruby Storm. So, as evidenced by my analytics, people love Ruby Storm. Traditional, with Ruby Medallion, bonus round, um, the whole nine yards. So, this is, at least uh, in my opinion, um, but I mean, there's there's enough there's enough variation where you could do slightly different things. I think it would be fine. Um, but for the most part, this is what I feel the the deck should be doing. Um, if you've never played Ruby Storm before, uh, it's ultimately, of course, a storm deck that's going to kill with either Grape Shot or even Fiery Confluence once we get multiple copies of Bonus Round going. Um, but it is a bunch of red instant slash sorceries um, that can take advantage of, of course, the namesake Ruby Medallion, which makes your red spells cost one less. So all of these cards that are, that can be, can be powerful uh, in and of themselves become more and more busted as you reduce the cost. And of course with Bergy, uh, further reduce the cost, even if it's already reduced to uh, zero, because you get a rebate in the form of a red mana uh, back. So, uh, but yeah, the idea is to more or less string together these exile effects like Reckless Impulse, the other side of Jessica's Will. Um, you know, you reduce their cost, they become ancestrals and draw twos for either, uh, you know, a discount or one mana or zero mana. Uh, and then if you manage to get a bonus round going, everything gets copied and you just you just go off. It, it gets out of hand <clears throat> quickly. Um, so that's kind of the initial deck tech. I won't go too heavy into it. I think most people are familiar with the general gist of what this this deck is is doing. There's a few notable things though that I do want to go over. First of which, I think I've already made it pretty clear that I am a proponent of Galvanic Relay uh, and not necessarily um, in favor of something like Reforge the Soul. I think Galvanic Relay is just better. I think it's a busted card. It's cheaper. It's more difficult to interact with. Um, and it, it, it acts as protection. We don't have access to, I mean, we do, but I choose to not run defense grid for a few reasons, which is what I'm actually going to go into next, but just on relay and reforge this slot, I don't think there's room for both. I mean, there might be in some number of maybe you split it up, you know, if you get some preference, go for it but i i do think uh if you're if you're talking about going with an optimal list i think relay is just busted um you gotta know how to use it you know you don't want to just like you know try to power out a relay early on sometimes you do but for the most part it's about being patient making land drops and then just powering through that's how i get through at least counter magic so i feel as though and we'll go on to defense grid here the defense grid is not ideal for the deck and the reason being we have a bunch of pseudo defense grids if you're playing against a blue deck you know defense grid is primarily for um force wills and force negations and spell pierces flusters that sort of thing um i think that we have cards that are basically a defense grid seething song jessica's will all these big spells that are just like must counter uh, and if they don't we can probably power through right Similar to grid, where you play grid and they have to counter, otherwise we're going to get through. The difference being, um, when you do actually start going off, instead of running into grids, you're now running into modal spells, right? I'd rather run into, uh, you know, Jessica's Will number three after powering through than grid number three, right? You need to be able to string together these exile effects and keep going. So, and then the last thing that I'll go go over is, and it has to do with defense grid too, I don't run them in the sideboard either, uh, primarily for the reasons I just said, but there's just not enough room. I think you do need a sizable wish package, um, and then I think ley line is more important than grid, uh, being able to actually hang and bang with the faster graveyard decks, and then I think blast zone is absolutely uh, imperative to be able to deal with deafening silence because this deck just ignores like you know 90 to 95 percent ignores almost all hate right taxing effects we can directly 
counteract with our uh, cost reducers. Plus, once you get a bonus round going, you're fine. No rod just doesn't really matter. We only have four pedals, whatever. Chalice, for the most part, doesn't matter. We only have four zero drops. Excuse me, three one drops. You know, even if they manage to get a chalice on, on two, we're not even dead in the water. We have a wish. We have all these three drops. Um, you know, it, it even that often just doesn't matter. Trinisphere, like a lot of our spells already cost three anyways. And once you get a bonus round going, you can just go right over the top of it. Um... Uh, and on and on uh, the the narset effects like we do draw some cards but for the most part we're just playing around that and exiling um the the hate that does directly impact us quite heavily is the the cards that make it so that we can only cast one spell a turn um and the most common of which of course is deafening silence and that's why we have blast zone um it's a super sweet card so oh and one last thing you're probably wondering wait a second didn't Pirate's Pillage get replaced by Inspired Tinkering. Uh, it did initially, and what I found that, and I haven't tested this enough to, to know if it is worth running this alongside the the Tinkering, but that is uh, what, what I'm going to continue to test so that I can figure that out. But the thing is, if you don't have it, so common play pattern is you get a bonus round active, you go for Burning Wish, you copy your Burning Wish, of course, you get Rite of Flame, and you get your action piece. Hopefully Tinkering, because if you manage to copy this spell... You should be good. You draw six, you get a bunch of treasure tokens. It's insane. If you do this and you have no cost reducer, right, and you only have your one red for right of flame, right? Right of flame gets copied. You go to four mana and you have no cost reducer. You can't cast inspired tinkering. So what are you left with? Oftentimes a rather anemic relay or you need to win this turn and you can't, right? You want to make, you want to take advantage of your bonus round. Um, so you're just kind of left hanging you can't really make use of past in flames. I guess you get empty. Like it's not ideal. So uh, at least for now, I'm running the pirates village. Um, we'll see how it continues to test out. But that is uh, the deck deck. So let's go right into a league here. Okay, we are in round one here with traditional ruby storm. We won the die roll, and unfortunately, it's a one lander. Otherwise, otherwise, I would snap keep this. Even just two mountains. Hmm, it's a shame. All right, off to a rough start, going down to five. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess we're going to four. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to keep uh, land drops and impulse. Yeah, I don't, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep land drops and impulse. Rather unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, there are 15 lands, which is a, a fair number. You should be able to... This is rare. I'll say that. Uh, Reclaimer. Okay. So we may very well be able to pull this off. That's not the greatest draw. Hmm. The problem with firing off Rimpulse here is if you hit two lands, right? I'm actually just going to pass. Because even if we hit, like, some action, we don't really have the resources to take advantage of it. So, like, the ideal Rimpulse there would be, like, land plus Metamorphose. So you can just go up on a card and get your land drop and draw a card with Metamorphose. But you can't really rely upon that. Okay, all right. So, flagstones. Is it too slow to wait one more turn? If we wait one more turn, we're waiting two turns because we're probably going to lean on this relay. At the same time, it's not like we can really get... I mean, we could potentially get a relay this turn if we Rimpulse. We have access to two. Yeah, if it hits a soul land plus, like, a spell. All right, I'm in. I think because they're going to what? They're going to reclaim her, get... Um, stage and then next turn they're gonna make they're gonna make a land drop they get an extra land and then they're gonna reclaim her for they're gonna make it 2020 basically uh, a turn faster than relay so let's take the chance see if we can make a relay happen right now off of the rimpulse you could go land pedal relay but that seems kind of weak too all right so I think I'm supposed to yeah we have the ruby now it's unfortunate that we missed on taking advantage of this relay, but we do now have a cost reducer. We have three lands in play, and we have a draw three. We get stage here, right? Oh, okay. This is actually pretty good for us. We're going to take the route of basically taking a turn off. So now we should be able to take advantage of relay. 
think drawing three here is too risky. I think we're supposed to make mana. Five, three, we bounce it. Then we relay. One, two, three. Or we can just make horn. Maybe I'm supposed to make horn. Horn pass. Can we die here? I don't think we can really, unless they have even double crop rot doesn't do it. You might lose mana from crop rotation though. If they double crop rot, then I guess, well, then we get a good relay. So uh, we're definitely making mana here. Let's see what they do. What's up, pizza? They tap their Caracas and get rid of it. That's interesting. As it stands, we still have enough for horn. Okay. What if they have triple? I don't think triple crop rot does it either. Okay. So now we have four. Bergy into relay or horn pass. It's the same amount of cards that we have access to next turn. Difference being we'd have a horn in play or Bergy in play. I think. I think I want to go Bergy Relay. Oh, they have a Swords? Okay. Alright, what do we get? Ruby, Mountain, Jesk as well, Ancient Tomb. Need a little help. Uh, it's worth noting that if we didn't have to mold a 4, I'm sure we would have easily won this game. Like. But we still might get there. We have Ancient Tune, Ruby, and then we're going to draw three and have access to a red. Did they not have a land drop? Wow. Okay. That's awesome. And that's a good draw. Now we can make mana if we want. Hmm. We could even forego the other Ruby. I don't think that's right, though. So we can go up to three mana and then Rimpulse. We could just Rimpulse first. Yeah, I don't think we have to really choose yet. Ooh. Okay. Uh, now we have Song and draw three. Draw three more. Okay. Lots more mana. Also draw two. Hit a mana Morphos. Uh-oh. It's getting dicey. We can kill their Reclaimer. Not for nothing. Okay, then. that That's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one. Uh, it is only a draw three, but definitely, okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, hmm. Three cost reducers, so uh, this costs two. Yeah, we definitely want horn. Let's go horn, metamorphose. Um, I think we have enough mana, so I'm fine with casting this. Instead of, it is free to just discard it, but I like, you know, if, it, if we fizzle that I still have access to these cards next turn. We did not fizzle. Okay, so that is bonus round into uh, Rite of Flame. And then we can get Tinkering because we have three cost reducers in play and we have a treasure anyways. So plus we do have a petal. This is wild. Wild. B -b -b bonus. Oh my god, we almost whiffed. That was close. That was a close one. Piff costs one, <laughs> and it gets copied. I guess I'll start casting instance with the piff on the stack in case we hit more instance. Storm is 20. We have won this game, just in case you were worried. On a multi four. Ooh, we did hit a castable. All right, plenty of mana. Uh, I'm not gonna cast another bonus round. It's just gonna take longer. Cast the will. We just need to find another wish. There it is. And let's get him with the grapes. Gonna decline that one. And get him. Wow. Got him. <laughs> Multi four, no problem. Okay, so we need these blast zones. We're gonna have to deal with deafening silence almost, almost definitely. Um, do I want Confluence in the main? No. Yeah, that's all I want. So that brings me to what do I want to get rid of? Probably the Piff. And we are bringing in two lands. Probably cut City. Let's do it. Come on! Well, well, 
need shit to deafening silence. But if not, we're in there. All right, I'll roll the dice. I don't like it, but they kept on seven too, so. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh God, oh God, it hurts. It hurts so much. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll play it. We are looking for land drops so that I can cast Rimpulse. I mean, this is the, the chance we took with this hand, right? For the most part, this is not the, the type of hand you're looking for. I think it's probably correct to throw it back. Uh, especially because I should have looked. Should have looked and saw that they kept seven. Okay, no land. I, I'll i scoop it up here. We don't need to. <laughs> yeah, that was going nowhere. Alrighty, run it back. It's worth noting that you don't always have to have uh, def uh, Blast Zone in your hand. Because we have so many, like... Like, this is fine. This will get us to the Blast Zone if we need. Well, not necessarily these cards, but, like, uh, Reckless Impulse is really good at churning through your deck and still um, still doing things despite Deafening Silence being in play. Uh, Manamorphose as well, because you can play two spells in a turn cycle by playing Manamorphose on their turn just to get through your deck. Like, this Burning Wish will light... Ooh, a Wasteland... Okay, that hurts. Okay, there's the rim pulse. Um, I just don't want to hit double land. Okay, we didn't hit another rim pulse. You really want to hit land plus spell? No, it's okay. Maybe not. It might not be okay. They only have three cards, though. We probably have a few turns to pull this off. Hmm. Need to hit a land drop. Okay, good. It's a shame we don't have... Uh, Metamorphose. Uh-oh. That's pressure. Big time. Now, it's worth noting, like, if we draw a Blast Zone here, we're just good, right? Because you can cast the Ritual and then play it, blow it up, and just kill them. Hmm. So we're making a 2020 next turn. So highest chances of actually hitting is probably, like get pillage can we cast tinkering next turn it's gonna cost no we can't hmm okay so we get pillage play this land uh, it's gonna be tough we still really just want to draw a blast zone here. We're 14 cards in. I mean, we had a we had a pretty good chance of getting to it. I mean, if there was a mistake here in this match, it was keeping that hand. Uh, game two. Karuru, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I mean, hopefully they just go for another wasteland. I don't know why you would here, but... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think this still makes Merit Lage next turn. They went for the Wasteland. They might have both. This is Zenith. Oh. Okay. I don't think any of this was necessary. I think it was better to just make a 2020, but... I'll take it. Oh, man, we drew it. Uh, but we have one less land than we need. Right? We go right of flame. But then we can just blow up their board. So sweet. So sweet. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, OP. Hmm. <laughs> nice. All right, all right. So now we can go three, five. We want to draw Metamorphose. Hmm. This is a tough one. The three, four, three, four, song up to six, Bergy to three. That doesn't really work. We can go like right song horn pass. We can go right Bergy pass, but then they can get. No, they can't. I think I'm supposed to get horn. Could go right pillage. Maybe that's correct. 
Or you can go write song. No, I can't. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we already. Let's go write pillage and get rid of. Honestly, I think Bergy at this point. I'm gonna do that. Nice. Um, we can attempt to go off right now. We can go song, bonus round, Morphos. But if there's not action on the top two, we're fucked. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather just roll the dice on them drawing. Maybe not. No, let's go. Let's fucking go. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, need a, a pedal or right of flame on the top six, though. Okay, we got the pedal. And looks like we got there. Let's make more mana. Let's bonus round again, baby. <laughs> Easy game. Um, I guess I'll make a bergie. Storm is 14. Oh boy. All right, let's just kill them. Let's get Fiery Confluence and decline. I'm declining because uh, they're dead. <laughs> and if uh, if they have, like, Trap in their hand, we have all this with four active bonus rounds. So I think we're good. Six, 12, 18, 24. Did not think we were going to get there, <laughs> but we did. All right. Pretty sure this is a Delver player. This hand is fine against Delver. We're just going to be super patient. We won the die roll again. Playing against Discoverin in round two. Canic Pass. They also kept on seven. Let's go with another mountain. Yes, this deck runs about 900, about 930, 940, low 900s. Um, you can just run a mountain and place a city, and then it's even cheaper. I think city's like two something, so very cheap. Shredder is in. Okay. Ancient Tomb. Still currently lose the one force of will. If they play it right, they might just counter Bergy though. It might be worth it playing Bergy. Then we're kind of priced into going in. At the same time, if they let Bergy go, we can probably forego bonus round and just let, and then they'll counter will. But I think I'm going to continue to be more patient here we do at this point need to draw into some more action preferably like if we draw a relay we're golden because we can just do all this stuff oh wasteland that's annoying um do all this stuff draw counter spells and then relay them there's a free wasteland for them burning wish is certainly action so let's see if we go bergy and they let it go right we go pedal then we have one two three we go right of flame we have five or we go burning wish before Rite of Flame? No, that doesn't make sense. Um, could bonus round before Rite of Flame. Walk into a uh, a daze. And then we could Rite of Flame. But I think it's more so... Let's see if Bergy resolves. I, I, I think I'm fine with dropping some action here. They counter it? Um, which they did... Interesting. We'd walk into a daze if we wanted to keep going. Could go like Rite of Flame, Petal, Will for mana, and then Burning Wish into Relay. It would be very good if they had nothing else, but we don't really know that. We got a two for one. We're probably going to get Wastelanded though, which is obviously a problem, but we'll see. Another iteration. Bubble, connive. Okay. Land. Bubble us, ponder. Back up to five cards. Free land drop. Six cards, because of bubble. Did they shuffle? They did not shuffle. So we can expect at least one more force of will here. Likely. Very likely. I think we start with mana from will. Because then we'll have... Three, four. No, we're going to be shy. One mana if they counter it. So maybe we go bonus round first. If I go bonus round first, play around days. 
to play my pedal first. That lets them connive though. Loses the double days. Bonus round first, they let it go, right? We go mountain, pedal, because they're going to get to connive anyways at that point. Of three. Then we get to write a flame. Burning wish. Okay. Um, I'm not supposed to play the mountain. And this beats double days at least. Three, four, five. If they counter this and have nothing else, then we'll have a relay. They did counter this. Are we supposed to go in at this point? I think so, because we're going we're gonna untap with only three. I mean we could could continue to play it slow. One, two, three, four, five. Burning wish relay. It loses to any other interaction. I mean, they have to have a daze, right? Good burning wish now. Hmm, I think I'm supposed to wait. Like, just straight up wait. I could cast the burning wish for relay. Maybe that's... It gives them a connive, though. I'm gonna wait. We're at 17. They only have a 2-4. I mean, they can make a, a Merc Tide and put us on the spot, but... Okay, three cards left. That's a relay. Pretty good. Taking five. Let's see what they say about this. Okay. It's going to get right of flame. Give them a connive. I hope they have double days. Or no, I don't. I hope they have one days, I mean. <laughs> double days would hurt. Come on, Shredder. Shred. 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 Mm-hmm. Did I miss it? There we go. This card's a Shredder. Right of flame. We can't really beat another force. Like, it's not impossible. It's just pretty much impossible. <laughs> I feel like they have one daze. That's what my gut says. Oh, is it a force of negation? Oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Do we pay? Do we pay? Do we pay? Do we pay? Yeah, I think we pay. They have another one? They do. Yep. So now we could hit for seven. We're pretty much dead. We gotta hope they wind up with nothing else. Despite casting an yet another iteration, and that our will like hits big time, which is possible. Oh right, they can just get force in there. Seven. Iterate again. Let's see, what would we have to draw here? I don't think there's anything that saves us. <laughs> Just force that. Okay. Do have infinite counters? This could hit a right of flame. They have infinite counters. Okay. They did dig through... They only have 26 cards left in their deck. Shredder and Darcy. Um, yeah, I don't think we really do. I mean, 
No, we. I guess we bring these in. We want those. I don't think we're going to get away with Past in Flames. Could probably go down one bonus round. Maybe a Jeska as well. I don't think we want Ley Lines. Um, I don't know. I don't play too much Vintage. I think this is fine. I played against them enough, like, in Legacy. They're always on blue-red tempo. Delver's tough. I think the difference there was, like, usually we can um, plow through what they were doing. Our hand was pretty good for that. But they had two expressive iterations. So it was like they countered our stuff and then still... Ooh. I think I'm supposed to... Ugh, come on. I think I'm supposed to keep this. This deck has a lot more red sources than the Epic Gamble. And they're probably going to counter these. Last one might come in handy. Sucks we're taking two, but of course they kept on seven as well. I'm going to force this. I'll try to let it go and force action instead. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Let the ruby go. Darcy, another blast zone. Alrighty. We'll play another ruby. This is looking rather painful. Wasteland play Shredder. Yeah. We wanted them to play another Darcy. Not even sure if I want to put Blasson into play. I think I wait on it one turn. Maybe I shouldn't have. Because now they waste us, so we don't need that mana. Hmm. That's probably a mistake. I was probably supposed to play that. We're in a rough spot. We did want to draw Red Source. I kind of figured as long as we hit Red Source in top like three. We have a good shot. Not in the top two. Hopefully Mountain's on top. There are far, far more... Whoa. Double waste. Oh boy. Ridiculous. Alright. It's Burning Wish. Looks like they have it. No, they don't. Okay. So what's that mean? I think that means right of flame. We're in a rough spot here, though. I haven't even had to use forces. Okay. That was a good draw. We do let them connive. Probably dead here. Mm, yep. Alright, we got tempoed real hard there. Okay, here we are. Round three. We have, once again... Won the die roll. We're playing against Marcolio with a potential turn one here. We can go, well, see if they're mulling. They did not mull. So you can potentially go seven mana, four mana, six mana. Tinkering is two mana plus three things. Burning Wish. Could also make Horn, but I don't think that's better. All right. That resolved. Now if they counter something, we can relay. Okay. Should probably try to Burning Wish first. If they counter Tinkering with six, two, then we don't have enough for anything. Hmm. No. Well... Son of a bitch. Like, I think it's right to just Burning Wish. And go for goblins here. If they counter Burning Wish, then you have a Tinkering. But I really want to just Tinkering. I'm going to Tinkering, because that's what I want to do. Okay? All right. And we got there. <laughs> we got him. 
They've now entered the bonus round. I, get, I think it's reasonable to assume they don't have a force since Will and Bergy resolved. But it's not 100%, right? They could just take the line of, okay, I'm not going to counter mana and try to get there on their action, which they would have gotten us here. Um, how would I like to kill my opponent? Better yet, would I like to kill my opponent? <laughs> Let's play with our food just a little bit. I just want to cast this card. Okay, just let me cast it. Uh, let's get another tinkering, get a confluence. Grape shot takes a while. We can just find another, another bonus around. There it is. And we can just get him with confluence. Oh, I should be reforging so we can see their deck. I can still do that as long as I get past in flames. Then I can get reforge, grape shot, and just decline this one. Now we can reforge. That's 728, so we're not going to deck, and we'll have access to past in flames. And we get to just keep looking at stuff. It's mono black. How much are they going to let us see? They're going to let us take a look. <laughs> oh, too late. Too late, OP. It's too late. <laughs> it's pox. Oh, my God. It's actual pox. Oh, this throws me back to, like, 2008 when I had to play a budget pox list at GP Columbus, either Columbus or Chicago, um, and my bag got stolen while I was playing in a side event, like, before the, the GP. Uh, and I had to play actual pox. I went five and five. It wasn't terrible. Um, okay, so just actual pox things. Don't think I need to take a picture of this or anything. We're in there. Uh, we don't really have much to worry about against them. Don't need ley lines. Don't need blast zone. I mean, I suppose I could play. You know what? Just want extra lands. City's probably not the greatest, though. I can cut that one and then cut they'll probably bring in ley lines um, even more than a probe just look at 28 cards of your deck <laughs> um, yeah that's fine like we're hoping to see ley line that doesn't really do anything Ooh, that's not gonna do it they go to six we go to six whoa come on I went up a land oh my god this is what happened to us match one too game one against depths we have 16 lands in our deck right now it's like definitely incredibly rare that this would happen and now we're going to four against the discard deck <laughs> we're basically hoping that we just draw a lot of lands come on one two lands hmm. okay okay i just want to be able to put my cards on the table we're probably going to lose one of these lands though to like a hymn to torok i i mean we're keeping uh I guess we could try to spike, like, Tomb Petal Song bonus round Metamorphos has high potential for turn one. The problem is, of course, that we're going to four, not five. And we're probably getting, probably getting discarded anyways, so I'm not going to try to spike. I'm just going to keep the mana. I mean, whatever this card is that we kept is probably getting discarded anyways. They, they also went to five, so... I'll discard that. We don't want to get hemmed. And if we do get hemmed, we want to be left with mountain. They took pedal. Okay. Yep. There's the hem. All right. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, this is <laughs> this is what Pox does, right? They have one card, one swamp. We have one land, one card. They are definitely better at this game. And there it is. That's why I want a mountain. But then you get hit by smallpox anyways. All righty. Definitely on flavor for Pox, right? Like Pox, if you had Pox, it's miserable. So it only makes sense for them to create a miserable state of which we must endure. They're supposed to take Song, but I feel like they might actually take Wish. Just out of fear of the unknown. That's what I'm banking on here. Not that uh, either of these cards are... See? Told you. I mean, these cards are not going to make it. Petal is good, though. It's probably untouchable. Perfect. <laughs> Three drops. Perfect. 
We don't play a lot of those, do we? <laughs> I think we have 19 three drops. All right, all right. I got a land. I'm not gonna not play the land, right? Especially like if they're gonna blow up a land of mine, I think I'm fine with this one. I'd rather have a soul land. In fact, we're getting pretty close. If we hit a soul land here, okay. If we hit a soul land, we can go up to six mana and then we can go bonus round will burning wish. No, 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 no. Lily, Ashiok. Uh, I don't think that matters. Doesn't really matter. All right, they wasted us. Ritual, Lily, okay. Guess I'm discarding Burning Wish. We're running low on wishes. One in the y one, two. We have this and two other Burning Wish in the deck. All right, Mountain's good. More of those, please. Actually, we just want a soul land. Just want a soul land. Oh God. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts so much. Um, I don't think we can pull off. Well, I'm gonna hold on to bonus round for now. Oh right, we have to discard another. Um, again, I think it's Burning Wish. Well, we're losing a card every turn. I think we're pretty much locked. That's a mountain. We need to hit like Reckless Impulses. One, like some way to go up on cards. It's not gonna matter though. We get ulted by Lily. They keep zapping us with Ashiok. Yep. They gonna zap us again? No. Hmm. I get to start drawing cards with Luckthwain. This is pretty brutal. Classic Pox. Turn 13. <laughs> they did not ult. Okay. Land. Okay. Um. Okay. Wasteland, Lily, land please, okay. They're not killing us though, that's the thing. <laughs> Come on, man. I can, I can get past in flames, force them to use Ashiok. Not really though, because it's not as though we have many cards. Uh, one, two, three, we only have... Oh, uh, that's the let. We can't win anymore. Unless they just let a Past in Flames go. We can no longer win. Alrighty, game three. Maybe we just want City. Just as many lands as possible. What do we cut? What do we cut? What do we cut? Jessica's Will is kind of bad, but kind of not. Because we want it in our opener, I guess. Hmm... This is tough. This is a tough call. It does, but it, it also, it's probably most important that we just, like, try to turn one them. In which case, bonus round is pretty crucial for that. But yeah, you're probably right. Overall, that's probably not what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep. Let's do it. So we start with Ruby, we're good. So they can't touch it. Except with like Lily ult. They mulling. They mull the six. Sand is pretty perfect. Put a Ruby in play, make land drops, and then just beat them off the top of the deck. I mean, they might even only have one discard spell, and then we just rip, you know, something off the top. But not the case. Looks like they're going to discard us more, which is fine. Tick song. 
Song is more mana. Anamorphos is some mana and redraw. They probably have him. They could have smallpox. That would be obnoxious. But it hits them. They would wind up with two cards and no permanence. So I guess I'm fine with smallpox. But I think it's a him. Shatter Skull and Seething Song. Okay, that's fine. I'm still going to play my basic in case I get hemmed. They can discard this. That is a downside. I just I want to get a red source into play. That's a basic. Mhm. Mm it's a risk we were willing to take. It's pretty good. I think we just get past the flames and make a land drop. We could make goblins actually. They're on two cards. I don't hate it. So they could just, like, Pass in Flames is a pass line, and they might just Ashiok. Can't Pirates Pillage, because we're not going to have any cards. Yeah, I think this is fine. Now we have something they have to deal with on board, and we have three lands in play and a Ruby. We're good. Even if they do answer these goblins, I think we're favored. Oh, I guess that puts a stop to that. <laughs> Three, two, one, we get to do six damage. Anamorphos was very good. Potentially. Oh, yeah. Ew. Huh. Uh, I think we do cycle this here. Come on, action. Not exactly. Guess we use the Rite of Flame. I think I value Mountain higher. And... I think I want to save these to pressure planeswalkers and prevent them from attacking. Best draw is probably, um, well, I was going to say tinkering, but about to get wastelanded. Need another red source to be able to convert this bonus round. So I guess mountain is still just the best draw. They're not going to waste us. All right. They do actually have threats this time. Uh, that's not good. That's really bad. Um, I mean, I guess I block. Mountain is good. Bonus round beats Damping Sphere, but it's definitely obnoxious. The Ruby helps as well for like the first few spells. <laughs> Come on, Manamorphos. Huh. Double bonus round. Ooh, now they can kill a goblin and block the other one. Okay. Another mountain. I don't think we're favored anymore. Smallpox. Okay. We get rid of Ancient Tomb. I feel like they were supposed to wasteland me first. Burning Wish still plays here. So you get to Confluence. Really any action off the top like that. There we go, baby. That's one way to do it. Okay. I hate this card so much. It makes my brain hurt. So this still costs... Okay, so it costs two... Because it goes down to one, then up to two. Then ritual costs three. Two. Three. 
And relay costs four. So two, three, four. For two, we go to two cards. Or two mana, I mean. So we won't have enough to ritual post Bergy. I think I'm supposed to wait on this. Or I could just play Bergy and pass. And they kill it. This still costs one. Oh, no, no. This will cost two. So we're going to have... No, it'll still be one shy. Play Bergy, pass. Kills her at least. We can just do it all next turn instead. Yeah. We can horn next turn as well. This costs one. And then this will cost three. Maybe I'm supposed to just ritual relay. And then next turn. Next turn we can decide what to do with Bergy. Another ruby. Another mountain. Some mana. There's probably ways to like shortcut this card. But for me it just hurts my fucking brain. I hardly see it, so I hardly have to think about it. And I always forget that it makes your soul lands tap for one. So I think we're supposed to horn. Let's see what we got here. All right. This costs two. Oh, God damn it. Like this goes up three, right? But then it's going to cost us three over the course of two spells. <laughs> so we go to five, and then this will cost... So we'll end up costing, I don't know. I think it's supposed to cast this. I don't think we can afford to cast this one though. We'd really have to hit a bonus round, but I don't think this is gonna cost two. Four, seven, five. I think this costs five. Plus four, okay. We're gonna take four, so we have one more turn. I don't think it helps to get another ruby into play. I think it does, once you get multiple bonus rounds going. Okay, so we finally hit a burning wish, so we should be able to blow up Dampening Sphere. And I think win. They have another blood gas for screwed. They do not. I think we're gonna just barely get there. And we hit bonus round. Wow. Okay. So I think we just go straight for it here. I think this costs three. So an artifact. Yep. One to each. No, okay. Got him. And then we can bonus around. Anamorphos, they're dead. They are dead. that one let's get rid of that one. Oh yeah I can go Berg Rim Pulse Play another Ruby why not light a flame A wish. Pedal. 
Petal. And Grape Shot. One plus 12. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's something I'd really math out. But yeah, there might be spots where like you do have to math it out. Okay, thanks, Pox. Thanks for the misery. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think, uh, despite getting the win, I think they were the clear winner. I think for what they're trying to do, they succeeded. It was indeed miserable. <laughs> All right, round three against Banant. I don't know. Did we finally lose a die roll? It looks like we did. Um, I can keep this. All right. It's a blue deck. Is it Delver? We don't know. Let's power this baby out. Darcy, okay. It's Delver. And a Wasteland, alright. It's fine. That's fine. We're in a very good spot here. Come on, OP. Yes. You Wasteland, yes. Yep. <laughs> that would be the correct thing to do. That's a good one. So I think the plan is to Rimpulse this turn. And then next turn, have a big relay. Whoa, that's actually not good. It... It's good if we draw, like, Seething Song, and it resolves, right? Uh, we'll see. They shuffled. Ew. What the heck, man? Fucking double bonus round, like... days a force you know force this okay fine with that okay super unfortunate that we had to waste our first rimpulse but I think we're doing okay Darcy's flipped. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. Song, Relay, Right of Flame. We should be able to kill them two turns from now before they kill us. That's a good one. Let's go Right of Flame. I'm going to daze it. Um, okay. Double daze. So now they have two lands plus an unknown. So we're fine. Now we go Shatter Skull. The Metamorphose. Or no, not plus an unknown. <laughs> Literally just two lands in hand. There we go, Song. There we go, Ruby. Relay for seven. <laughs> and that should do it. Iteration. We take six. We get a five. Uh, we have two Rimpulse and a Metamorphose in the yard. Two Rimpulse and Metamorphose is five cards. So... I think we actually want to use this for action because we still have plenty of mana. Yeah, let's ritual <laughs> and horn. Morphos. Burning Wish. Pretty good. Um, we're at 17. Uh, you know what? I think I still just want to get cards out of it because we're going to use Past in Flames anyways. We'll get to cast it then. Let's go right of flame. Let's draw three. Make some mana. Oops, should have played Bergy. That's all right. Opponent is dead. Most certainly dead. Classic one mana past in flames. 
Let's just go get grape shot and hopefully they scoop so we don't have to go through this. Yep. Alrighty. Got him. On game two. Let's play blast zones. Take a bonus round out. So you take a Jessica's well out on the draw. This is tough, but I think I keep this. I like having a basic. I like being chock full of stuff to do. If we can just find one more land, this hand should be able to get there. One more land in the top two. I'll take it. And I will pass. Do we want to spend this game trying to play around days? I think it largely depends on whether or not we draw a land next turn. Be nice if we did. This blast zone is a hell of a lot better than uh, bonus round or Jessica's will. <laughs> nice. They did not shuffle on their ponder. But they have no threats and we're drawing land, so that card does not really matter. Wow, it's a good draw. Don't do it. Don't you do it. They didn't. They did not do it. Um, yeah, I'll pass. Hitting their own graveyard. Interesting choice. Okay. Iteration. Get the free land drop. Really want to hit a relay. If we draw a relay, we're just in there. We're not playing any one drops. Let's see how much mana we can get away with. That's what I thought. How about the big one? Maybe I should have started started with that one. You can even start with Will. Whoa. Whoa. That's heavy. That is heavy. Action. Wow. Wow, OP. You're in trouble. What? So they counter Burning Wish. So here's the danger with playing Burning Wish from Exile. As much as you want to, because you want that value, and you, want, you don't want to show them that you have two Burning Wish. If they counter it with Flusterstorm... They can then surgical it, which is something to consider. Let's make sure this gets in. Can't imagine it won't. And I'm gonna go for tinkering. Must counter, must counter, must counter. This is tinkering followed by two burning wish that can both yield a um, relay. So force the action here. They pitch days. And again, I'm gonna play this one. It tips my hand, but I don't care. They have double force or triple force. You got it. They do not. So now we can ensure that we get relay going. And now we can cast this one. I'm not going to cast whatever I get here. But I probably want maybe relay. Oh, they might have fluster. Didn't think of that. Um, and they've shut off past and flames. I wonder if reforge is best here. Just as like a singleton card to be able to refuel into the next turn. Probably not though. Well. Maybe just a draw three for one is pretty good. Or just the tinkering. It's probably just the tinkering. I'm forgetting this cost one. So we could have gotten Will. Fuck. I was supposed to get Will and cast it. I don't know why I was like, I miscounted that. Yeah, and they have it. I guess they cut themselves off. Fetch plus force plus surgical. Why would that cut them off of fetch plus force plus surgical? I don't... Alright, we just gotta pick one that's only targeted once. So the second one is only targeted once. Or the very first fluster. So we can pay for the first one. Yep, so we can pay for this one. And ignore the rest. That sucks. That was bad. That was a mistake. I should have gotten Will and casted it. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe not. That doesn't... Because then we have to cast what we flip this on the same turn and they can just counter that oh yeah 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 it's either tinkering or reforge obviously reforge fuels them but with two rubies and this much mana it probably gets there now they just need one more counter which they might have they're okay they're playing a merc tide they're maxing out on it too they can even attack for four um it's not lethal next turn 
But it could be. Okay, that was a good draw. Oh, and they fucked up and didn't target one of the one of the relays, so we got two cards out of it. Do I want to tap Ancient Tomb? I think so. Puts us to nine. We're dead to Bolt either way. I guess I can start with Metamorphose. I suppose with Harrison play, you can always put a trigger on the stack before you force. <laughs> Fergie was not bad. I, th I think I do want to play it. Play the Tinkering. Oh, wow. So they had the Bolt. They feel forced to use it now, which is reasonable. They only have one card, so this is getting through. All right. That's Morphos. Burning Wish. That's a good one. Definitely a good one. Hers is tapped. One card. So if we get past in flames, even if they have surgical, we're just in there. So let's let's do that. Yeah, they're F6. I should have Rimpulse first, but whatever. And they scooped. Okay. Got him. OP says, LOL, big fan here. Um, a risky hand to keep for sure. Maybe I should have looked at this a little better. <laughs> but here we go. Force plus surgical trick with a fetch in play. Uh, it's no. Hold priority fetch, force of will, force resolves. Oh, maybe you can. I guess that makes sense. Hold priority fetch, force. Yeah, you're correct. God, I haven't played with fetches in a bit. This match is going to be funny, they said. <laughs> Welp. I guess they're pausing, saying, wait a second. He doesn't play Ruby Medallion. People always pause when I play Ruby Medallion. <laughs> it's going to be like Spanish Inquisition or something. Or they're just going to be on the Epic Gamble. That's what it looks like. If we draw land, if we're not dead right now, and we draw land, we should be good. Draw Mox. Gamble. This is epic. Hmm. No imprint. LED opal. Opal pedal gamble. Something like that. Right of flame opal gamble. I feel like we're getting echoed either way. It's a burgie. It's a burning wish. Misplayed, they said. Okay. That's okay. Shattering spree. Pass. Oh boy. Land? Pedals? That works. Pedal works. Are we guaranteed to get there here? No. Um, maybe. So we go to five. We go to three. Do we draw six? Or do we make mana and then wish? I think wish is just deterministic. Ooh, it might be deterministic. Grape shot wish line. I love those. Hold on. So we definitely do that. We definitely do that. Considering we have a wish, this is just straight up going to be better. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then we get to double wish. Pretty sure. Do we have enough to grape shot past in flames? Actually, we don't even have to. So you can get mana. Right, that's how that works, you dummy. Okay, so now we go... Does Tinkering just make just as much mana as Rite of Flame anyways? It costs four... And it makes six, so it goes plus two. No, right of flame makes more. We're probably supposed to do that, but this is deterministic anyway, so we're just going to go through it here. We're going to go right of flame, right, and then you pass in flames. Never mind the bonus round that's going to be involved here. And we bonus round again. And we seething song. Because wish uh, stays in your graveyard, right? So it's not like a burning wish where it gets exiled. So then you get to wish again, and then you grape shot, and then you can even pass in flames again and grape shot, but probably gonna wind up with enough storm anyways. Might as well draw 12. I'm gonna ignore the cards though.
I guess we just confluence. <laughs> yeah, confluence is easier to click. Quicker. Got him. All right. The epic gamble. I think Leyline is just going to fuck them up. Because they're not going to expect it. Don't need Blast Zone. Put a Confluence in the main. That's probably better than something. Help me get past in flames. This is not going to be great on the draw. Uh, draw. Relay is probably ill-advised. Um, I think I'll get rid of Wish. Yeah. Uh, this hand, though reasonable and functional, we really want to find a ley line. Like, I might keep a turn one. I'll take it. Bottom Ancient Tomb. I'm actually going to keep the Rim Pulse. Sorry, OP. I probably ruined your day. Watch me just get peered. Soul Land, Paddle, LED, LED, Burning Wish. Untapped. Alright, they're doing something. They're gambling. Hmm. Wonder if this is a gamble first. Think about it during. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. That's a good one. Hmm. I think I still want to play Bergy. And then, funny enough, this will be our red source with a Bergy in play and no actual red source. And then this will be free. So, might be able to go off. If nothing else, we start attacking. Put the pressure on while we have Leyline in play and have them off balance. Are they going to play a Bergy? Are they going to put a Bergy into play? It's going to be some Berg on Berg action. It's hot. That's real hot. <laughs> Brought in empty. Probably just to replace grid. That's a good one. That's a very good one. All right, this one's free. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. End of your next turn, okay. Get in there. So you gotta imagine this is a horn. They could still just have LED burning wish. There's LED. Three, six, eight. Actually, they're one shy of peer. Overmaster, okay. Chrome locks. Relay? It's gotta be a relay. Yep. It's actually scary. Let's hope for another turn, they say. Echo is not bad. They hit Echo. Spirit Guide is bad. Right of Flame is meh. Chromox is meh. I mean, whoops. Turn off auto yield so I can get this into play. Like, they get to Echo, but it's only a front side because Ley Line is here. They don't have any mana post Echo. And then they're going to wheel us into a win. But I don't think they really have a choice a hug from brazil thank you pantheon well consider yourself hugged back here comes the boom hopefully they drew something that they can at least imprint they wished really it's reasonable i mean i suppose they make blue you can undo are they gonna bounce it right so they wish they're gonna echoing truth it okay yeah they're gonna void snare it but then what they have 
Relay, but no red. Okay. Well, now you're dead. Now you are dead. I think he's supposed to reforge. Actually, I think I'm supposed to wish here. Is that deterministic? Probably. Like burning wish for wish. <laughs> oh, man. That's sweet. So it's going to be three, four, five, six. I'm almost positive this is deterministic. Three, four, five, six, seven. Stay at seven. Wish puts us to six for past and flames, which puts us to four, which lets us flash all these back and wish. Yeah. Yep. They're at 11 as well. Well, it's nice that Wish was in our sideboard. <laughs> they got Wish looped twice. Or Mario, what's happening, man? <laughs> oh, yeah. We got some. We're pummeling a big fan who is on what is the better deck, but should have echoed instead of Wishing last turn. Getting ready to go to B more later today. Legacy seat. What's going on in B more? I'd imagine there's a legacy tournament. What's it an SCG? Oh, nice. What's a legacy modern pioneer? Do do do. Metamorphose. Right of flame. Thanks for the game. I said thanks for gambling. <laughs> Beat the epic gamble. Our father. Uh, but yeah. List feels very strong. We got to play against two tempo decks. We beat one and lost to another. That's kind of been my experience with this deck against Delver. Um... Whereas, and this is one of the big draws to the Epic Gamble as opposed to this, is the Epic Gamble crushes Delver. And this deck is is probably just 50-50, if you play it right. But you have to draw well. If you, if you start having to mulligan from just, you know, dysfunctional hands, um, or like game one you don't know you're against Delver and you have an all-in hand, like there's, Delver's tough. It's definitely tough. We didn't really get to play against any of like the the prison matchups that this deck is really good at combating. All the hate we did win through a deafening silence, I suppose that was pretty sweet. Um, finally ripped it off the top after 15 cards, so that was nice. But yeah, as far as the list goes, I mean, I think this is r roughly what what you should be doing. You know, you can make it even further budget if you cut the city, like we talked about. Just play another mountain. And personally, I think you should play another mountain. Um, I know people want to play Crystal Vein, you know, and they say, oh, it'll be fine. It will. It'll be fine. But I think Mountain is better, you know. Uh, turn wanting your Ruby and destroying your land is pretty bad. I mean, it can potentially get under uh, a tempo deck if you follow it up with, like, Mountain and stuff. But I don't know. I'd rather just have a basic even in that spot. So, um, yeah, other than that. I uh, pillage didn't come up. My hunch says that the spot where you need pillage and can't make the five to tinkering um, is going to be rare enough where you just shouldn't be running the card, in which case you should probably be on a third blast zone. I think third blast zone is probably where you want to be. Um, in fact, I think I'm actually just done testing pirates pillage. Uh, three blast zone might be excessive, but I don't think so. The matchup's where you want it, and you're just like literally dead in the water. Uh, otherwise, it's you really want it, you know. So you could, if you wanted to, ignore deafening silence and just play defense grid. If you really wanted to play defense grid, but I don't think, for the reasons stated in the beginning of this video, um, I don't think defense grid is particularly better. I think you just want to go on the highest density possible and efficiency uh, of having action and mana 
uh, in the right numbers and just uh, it's often referred to as brute force so exhaust your opponent's counter magic through brute force rather than specifically protection cards so that when you do actually start going off uh, you run into your modal spells and more mana and more action rather than just more of your protection spells so you fizzle a lot less which is very important for this deck as opposed to the epic gamble because this deck relies upon often uh, hitting the right cards when they're flipping exile effects in low numbers like two from Rimpulse or three from Jessica's Will you're in a spot where well if I just hit one more action piece I should be you know and you're kind of stringing them together so uh, the cards need to as much as possible bleed into one another that's why these modal spells are so powerful Jessica's Will and, and Bergy because it helps facilitate that that style and as soon as you start adding simply protection spells it really starts to fuck that up and make your deck not function very well whereas the epic, the epic gamble is more uh specific about the cards that it needs to string together and yes something like jessica's will does allow for a certain amount of like bleeding those cards together that's not what like that's what this whole deck is about you know so i don't know this is a fun league i think we uh, we had to fight pretty hard for it, but we got we got a four one there. So and the the match we lost, they just had like <laughs> they had everything. Um, it's pretty cool that we won on a multi four against the uh, Naya Depths. That was pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, so that's gonna conclude this video.